All right, 21004, write a loop that reads positive integers from a standard input and that terminates when it reads an integer that is not positive. After the loop terminates, it prints out on a line by itself the sum of all the even integers that are read. Declare any variables that are needed. Assume the availability of a variable stdin that references a scanner object associated with the scanner standard input. So, the logic of this question is the user enters an endless, potentially, stream of integers. As long as they're positive, they can keep entering. If, the, if they enter a even number that is, that is not negative, that's positive, then that number gets added to the sum, which then gets printed out at the end. Um, the loop continues if it's an odd number, but it ceases if, if the number is not positive, so less than or equal to zero. So this is going to be a while loop, and we need to declare two values, because we need the value of the sum, which is zero to start and we need the value of the number that's entered. Now we need to declare a value for it because when we the while loop is going to it's going to exist only while number is greater than zero. So in order for it to even enter it to begin with, it needs to be greater than zero. And also, we don't want this number, this is a dummy number, we don't want it to be added to the sum, which we're going to do right here. We only want it to be added to the sum if, if number percent to equals zero. And this is uh, this is the remainder. This is the, the remainder when dividing by. So uh, it's percent two it's this is a way of saying an even number. But if you're not familiar with that percent sign, let me try to show you here. Four percent two is zero. Eight percent two is zero. Um, what that is is the remainder. When you divide, it might be easier with non two. Let's try eight divided by five. So let's think for a second. Eight divided by five equals one with the remainder of three because it's one gets rid of the five and there's three left over. So 8% 5 is that remainder value. So it's 3. And the percent 2 is special because it means that it's div divisible by 2 when it's equal to 0. Um, which means that it's even. So any, any, um, any number, percent 2, is equal, if it's equal to 0, then it's even. Similarly, any odd number percent two is equal to one. So if you ever need to uh, do something based on something's evenness or oddness, you really need to get to know this little percent thing. So if this number is even, then sum plus equals number. We add whatever the number is to, to uh, the sum. And if you don't know this plus equals, hopefully you do, but plus equals is the equivalent of saying sum equals sum plus number. It's just shorthand. If you just say plus equals means add it to itself number. Similarly, times equals means times itself. It would equal sum times, sum times number. So it's a, a shorthand, but definitely 
get used to doing this because it's it'll save a couple seconds. Um, so we add it, and then we want to to get a new value. So stdin is a scanner object, so it has a method called next int, which means take the next value that comes in, it's going to be an integer. And we're going to store that as number. Number equals whatever the next value entered is, and you're saying it's going to be an integer. If a non-integer is entered, it will be a problem, but for this pro problem or this, this example exercise, it won't happen. And that should do it. Let us um, compile and run it and give it a test. Oh, we also want to print it. After the while loop has exited, run to print line. Uh, I don't know what we want to say. The sum is plus sum. Whatever it is that we want to say. Let's give it a go. We're going to enter two, four, six. So those should have all been entered, so we should be up to 12 for the sum. We'll enter some odd numbers. It'll let us continue. It won't do anything. And then, so we should just have a 12 as the sum when we enter a zero or negative number. The sum is 12. So it worked. The answer is this.